I'm Robert Odds. I'm the uh, Chief of GI Pathology at the Brigham Women's Hospital, and uh, I am the uh, Director of the Fellowship Program and Professor of Pathology at Harvard Medical School. Uh, so in that role, I am uh, I'm doing a lot of clinical work, I'm doing a lot of academic work, teaching and research, uh, some administrative work, running the fellowship program. Um, so a big part of the job is education, um, which is a passion of mine. Uh, well, I, back in the early 2000s, we um, Myself and a close colleague of mine, John Goldblum, uh, decided there was a huge need for uh, a comprehensive, uh, analytical, easy to read uh, book of gastrointestinal, liver, and pancreatic pathology uh, for everybody, not just for uh, um, students of the field, but also gastroenterologists, surgeons, anybody who had an interest in GI diseases. Up until then, uh, GI diseases were somewhat of an enigma. Um, there were always some things we never really understood. It was never really taught well. Uh, we just did things because they had always been done that way. Uh, and John and I realized that uh, it's really not that complicated. Uh, and we wanted to make a book that was utilitarian, easy to read, understandable, and made the complicated very simple. Uh, very pictorial, very driven towards how do you make a diagnosis. Um, not too wordy direct to the point and I think that's how I started with Elsevier with uh, with my first textbook which was titled Surgical Pathology of the GI Tract, Liver, Biliary Tract and Pancreas. We then followed that up with a second edition which was I think a great improvement uh, because we kind of learned from our mistakes the first time. Uh, it, um, it really um, satisfied the, uh, the goals that we had, the second edition. And right now we're doing the third edition, which I think will be even a greater improvement because it, it's now incorporating what I was just telling you before about uh, molecular diagnostics. Uh, it really is, um, there's been a lot of discoveries and a lot of different ways that we think about GI pathology in the last five years in particular. Uh, and this is gonna come to light in this uh, third edition. We're also doing a, uh, um, a sort of shorter version of, uh, of our big textbook, the one I just described. It's a sort of high yield book. It's sort of like the Coles Notes version of the major textbook, which is very comprehensive. Uh, kind of um, a book that would be useful at the microscope immediately, a reference textbook, really holding the information that you need at that moment to be able to make a diagnosis. Uh, so the information is being drawn a lot from my major textbook, the, uh, uh, the GI textbook, um, into a more Coles Notes fashion. Quick reading, easy reference, very pictorial, uh, and that's going to be the, oh, it's termed the high yield book of GI liver and pancreatic biliary pathology. The need for this book and the way I designed this book uh, was a little bit unique in the sense that um, medical textbooks tend to be complicated and, and, and the more complicated they seem um, it always had been thought of that the more interesting it would be but in reality it's just the opposite it's when you make these complicated subjects easy and readable and understandable where people like and understand and appreciate what you're giving them and that was my goal as an educator is to try and make it simple, simple for the masses. Uh, because ultimately, when you understand something, uh, it's easy to teach. When you don't understand it, it's not easy to teach. So before I created this book, I had to do a lot of understanding myself to make it understandable to me. And that took a lot of research. You know, there was four years of planning that went into this book prior to even writing a word. Uh, and so, and I think we achieved that goal. And that goal is a simple, readable um, um, uh, uh, book that covers an expansive topic of GI diseases uh, that can interest both the most intense specialist in GI all the way back to uh, just a general medical person. And so I'm really happy about that. And that's kind of the way my mind thinks. I, I'm that type of person. I like to, uh, I, I take pride and I take, I put a lot of energy into making uh, difficult things seem easy.